Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a gill with blacksmith in Stormblood. So most of these items on this list were not in the armor video, despite the fact that armor can make some of the same things. So let's get right into this list. So the first thing on this list is going to be adamantite nuggets. Adamantite nuggets are used in making the Sildra submarine parts. And they're also used in making some of the level 60 blacksmith and armor job quest. As always, make sure you do your research on your server. My server is Gilgamesh, so my server prices will differ from yours. So on my server, we have 60 hits ranging from 3,500 all the way up to about 10,000, I would say the cutoff point is. Now, since most people can make anything from Heaven's Ward high quality from normal quality materials, and some marines don't really need high quality materials, I would most likely sell them normal quality over high quality. So as you can see here from our sales history, they've been selling great for the past two days. Of course, yesterday being the weekend, so of course they were flying out to shelves. I will be making another video showing you guys how to get these relatively quick and easy and a lot of them at once. You'd be surprised how easy they are to get. Next is a titanium ingot. These again are used in left quests and also in submarines. All right, we have 15 hits on my server. So we have, let's round that up to around 3,000 for high quality, all the way up to 5,000. Since they are used in lead quests, most likely selling them high quality will yield you more gill than selling the normal high, the normal quality. As you can see again, they've been selling great for the past two days, with yesterday being the weekend. Next is going to be the Oni Shigani Ingots. This is from, from Stormblood. These are for lev quests for blacksmith, and they also are used in making the Tama Higani Ingots. So with 63 hits on our market board here, ranging from a thousand for normal quality up to about 10,000. Now again, once you basically hit level 70, you really don't need to make high quality anymore. So I honestly would say, go ahead and sell them either or how you, how you choose. Again, on my server, we have a lot of crafters. So not too many people really need high quality, but again, maybe your server needs high quality. But again, go by what your server and your market board history, but it's been selling great for the past two days. Next is Cobalt Ingot. Again, these are all for use for submarines, and they're also used for making joint plates, again, for submarines. So, 56 hits on my server. So, they're gonna range that from 1,000. A yeah, up to, again, about, say, about 10,000. So, with most people using them for some brains, normal quality, I would say. But it seems to be high quality I've been selling as well as normal quality. And again, the past uh, two days have been selling quite well. With it being the weekend, of course. Things always sell better on the weekends. Next is the Malib Denim Ingot. These are from Stormblood. They're used in life quests. Also used for scripts for script farming as well. So 52 hits. These are a little bit cheaper. So going ranging from about 840 uh, up to about 7,000, I would say. But as you can see here, they've been selling great over the weekend. 
and this is new stacks on 99 have five blinds, and then people are kind of undercutted pretty badly to lower than a thousand. But definitely for best for script farming and left quests to give you over that little hump to 70. Next is of course going to be a repeat from Armor Dark Steel Nuggets. I believe say from some Marines. Alright, so 14 hits, we're in the 5,000 range up to 10,000. And as you can see here, they are definitely flying out the shelves today and, of course, over the weekend. Again, I would say no quality over high quality, but I don't know why people are buying them high quality for, but to each their own. And, of course, the ingots are next. Again, these will be in for submarines, ranging from 5,500 all the way, again, I'll probably step at 10,000. So, as you can see, they have been selling as great as the Nuggets, but they have been selling quite well the past three days over and over the weekend. You most likely will see Nuggets more than Ingots. And then, my favorite item. The Adamantite Winglet. Now, the reason why this is one of my favorites is because this is for the level 60 Heaven's Ward job quest for Blacksmith. So, as you can see here, there's very few on the market board for my server. And I can tell you by experience, try to sell them around 100,000. Of course, we have an idiot over here who decides to choose to sell it for less than 100 to 100,000. They probably went off all, oh, so everyone else has been selling it for like 99,990. So he decided to say, screw me, because I'm the one that was, that's been selling it for over 100 and just putting them lower. But I can definitely tell you that these right here are all mine. <laughs> The 100,000, all mine. I sold these, I sold this one, and a few of these right here. I can't give you 100%. I can definitely probably say I've sold everything that's high quality right here. <laughs> but my memory is a little bit uh, foggy, but I can definitely say half the, most of these are mine I've sold. So this is how I've been basically getting my money for Blacksmith. And as you can see here, I have 357 million. So I definitely have been selling these for the past month. So like I said, I will be making a follow-up video showing you guys how to farm adamantite nuggets within a reasonable 24-hour period. Most of them it's a set them and forget them kind of method. Alright, so that is going to be in my next video. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys will never miss an upload. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and happy selling.